Thank you for watching. This is Richard with Wisdom Investor. And we're going to talk about the three stages of retirement today. We're also going to talk about putting those principles to work. In addition, I'm going to talk about where I'm at in those stages of retirement. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the full episode. As you may notice, this video is not coming from our normal office. We're actually near the top of Mount Rainier in Washington State. So we're going to talk about the three stages of retirement. The first stage I want to talk about here is what's called the go-go years. That's ages 65 to 75. Now, it doesn't have to be just limited to those years. If you're a person that retired early, you're in early retirement, you can consider those go-go years. Those are the years that you want to get out and make things happen. If you want to travel, you want to do your traveling during that time period. If you want to just go out and visit friends and relatives, then take the time to visit your friends and relatives during that time. You want to do it while you're young and energetic. Now, typically in the go-go years, early retirement years, you're going to spend more money. So during that time period, anywhere between 55 and 75, that's if you retired early, you're going to end up spending more money. Now, you don't necessarily have to go climb a mountain to travel. You could actually just travel to someplace local in your area, especially if you're on a budget. There's plenty of places you can go and spend a few days and keep your expenses down. We're looking at Paradise Lodge here and overlooking the facilities and snow on the mountains in the background. Now myself, I retired a year ago at 64 and a half. I had two daughters that needed to complete college, so I continued to work until they graduated. Matter of fact, the same month they graduated is the same month that I retired. I waited until I was 65 to start taking Social Security. I kind of debated. I could have waited longer until my full retirement age, but I decided to go ahead and take it now or at the age of 65. After doing all the calculations, it just made more sense to go ahead and take it. And we've discussed early retirement. We've discussed taking Social Security, when to take Social Security on this channel here. So we talked about the first stage of retirement. That's the go-go years. That would be ages 65 to 75. And if you're early retired, that would include you. The second stage is the go slow years. That's ages 75 to 85. Now, just because you're in that range of 75 to 85 doesn't mean you have to slow down. I know many people in that age range that are moving much faster than people in their 40s and 50s. So the second stage is the go slow years, 75 to 85. What are we going to see there? Hopefully we don't see higher medical costs, but typically that's what happens. Medical costs increase and we're not spending quite as much on travel in some of those areas. Now the third stage of retirement is the no go years. That's going to be between the ages of 85 and 95 and above. Now just because you're in that age group doesn't mean you have to go slow. Matter of fact, I know a couple that's 87 years old and they can hike and walk faster than people in their 50s and 60s. So it doesn't mean you have to give up, get out there and keep going. But it is a time that many people do slow down. Now you can see the ice behind us. You definitely want to slow down when coming down this ice here. And so just like that in our lives here, we need to slow down at certain time periods. So you're probably going to have higher health care costs and much lower expenses of living and lower travel expenses. Leave a comment if you have a comment about the three stages of retirement. Now, as I said, I'm retired myself. I'm putting the principles into practice. The rest of this video is going to be me putting these principles of traveling into practice right here at Mount Rainier. We are on our way to Mount Rainier, about halfway there. We ran across this really beautiful golf course here. We're looking at the driving range here, but you can see the view of Mount Rainier in the background. We're going to be headed toward that here on our trip here, but we're trying to get out and enjoy our go-go years here in retirement. Here's the entrance into Mount Rainier National Park. This is my lovely wife, Sally enjoying this view from the National Park Inn patio. 
This is one of our favorite views of Mount Rainier. We're working our way up higher, up to Paradise Lodge. This is looking back to the west, and you can see the view over the mountains. A beautiful view. The higher we go, the better it gets. At this point in our travels up to Paradise Lodge, we're about a half a mile by road. We're looking at Mount Rainier here. We're at the snow line level here right now, looking at the Cascade Mountain Range here in Washington State, looking west towards the Pacific Ocean. So no matter what stage you are in retirement, make sure you get out and take advantage of whatever time you have and whatever you like to do. This is my lovely wife, Sally, and we just finished this hike here on the north slope of Mount Rainier. And Sally, what's been your experience of Mount Rainier since we've been here? I think it's majestic. It's the most beautiful national park that I've ever seen. It has to rate right up there as one of the best in the world. Right now, the wildflowers are blooming. The mountain is perfectly clear, no cloud cover. It's not rainy. Temperatures are like 71, 72 degrees, and this is July 12th. So I think it's beautiful. Everywhere you go is a vista, valleys, mountain ranges. There's the higher up you go, of course, there's more snow. So you can just see patches of snow on the mountain sides and on top of the peaks beside Rainier. We've seen marmot and deer and chipmunks, uh, bald eagles. It's just gorgeous. I say come and visit. It's just beautiful. You won't be disappointed. I'm back here at Paradise Lodge. So no matter what stage you are in retirement, if you're in the go-go years, or if you're in early retirement, or the slow-go years, or the no-go years, if you like to travel, get out and make plans to travel. Go where you like to go. Do what you want to do. Do it while you're young and energetic. I want to thank you for watching. If you have any comments about the video, leave your comments. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.